Hello, this is JDM from the Inventables.com forum. I'm going to do a quick demo on point editing to uh, show some basic operations and duplicate some that we did previously and just show another way to do things, in this case a lot easier. Uh, previously in the, in the fillet demo we looked at making a cutting tool that had uh, a one inch hypotenuse in order to to put a, a chamfer on the corner of a triangle. So we'll use the same numbers this time to just keep things consistent and simple. Based on our equation that we figured out before with a one inch hypotenuse we came to 707 for the legs. Now previously we rotated this shape, aligned it to the X, and then made another cutting tool and did a boolean to cut this perfectly in half. Uh, with the point editing, I can skip all of that once I set my shape and simply just uh, go into point editing mode by either clicking the E over here on the menu. I can click the E on the keyboard or I can double click my shape. So for this operation all I need to do is take the point that I want to get rid of and delete it. And there's our tool. That one's simple. Uh, another useful triangle that you might use is a 30-60-90 triangle. And our formula for that is going to be... Let me write this in real quick. So oh, that's a 2 and that's a 3, just to kind of give you an idea. So we'll use uh, the same simple numbers here. I'm going to make my X leg 1 inch. And then I do need to solve for this bottom leg. And I can use... same square root calculator which does a great job. Um, X is going to be 1 multiplied by the square root of 3 and I'm just going to copy up to three decimal points. That's a, all the precision I need. So my width now I just copy that number in. Go into point editing mode and delete that point. So now that can be a part of either used as a tool to put a specific angle on it. You have your three different angles. You can orient the tool by rotating it. The circle reacts a little bit differently. Uh, if I want to do a hemisphere with point editing, the easiest way is obviously going to be to take another shape and do a boolean and cut half that. But I can do point editing and get to that point. I have to do a couple of other operations to get there. So when I go into point editing on a circle, you see I've got three, or I'm sorry, four points to describe my circle. If I just delete a point, I'm not going to get the results I'm looking for, even if I change these points to straight sections. I still don't get exactly what I'm looking for. I can come in here and shift and, and try to manipulate them to get them close, but if I just want to make it exact, I can do another operation.
And again, this isn't the easiest way to do this, but I'm just going to do it to illustrate. I'm just going to take another tool here, make it into a cutting tool, do a combine. And what you'll notice now when I go into point editing mode is I have a lot more points to describe my circle. Since this is still aligned on 2, 2 in coordinate space, I can use the lines on the background on the workspace to decide where I want to uh, cut these or delete these points. Again, it's not the fastest way to achieve that shape, but on something more complex, it might be a good option to get there. I'll show you um, one other item in here. Let me get rid of this. If I want to draw an arc or a quarter of a circle, I can easily, if I want a shape, I can use cutting tools to make this into a half circle or a quarter of a circle. But if I just want a line, uh, I can cheat a little bit here and use the Exploder app. If I go into Exploder, do a new shape, I'll get rid of this old one. And I'm going to change that to an outline. So at first it doesn't look like it did anything, but if you look up here at the top, it actually removed a section of the shape. So my alignment is to this corner is on 0, 0. If I go to my center because it's a 2 inch circle, I should still be on 1, 1. I can use the lines on 1, 1 to actually uh, delete my points and keep it uh, accurate. So now when I go into my point editing, of course I've got all these extra points to describe the circle now, whereas I had four before. Let me go back in here. Let's see if I can get this right. So if you if you're on a shape and you zoom, you'll zoom the whole browser rather than just uh, the workspace. I go into point editing mode. Manually deleting all these points. So at this point I've got three quarters of a circle. I can continue. where I have an arc and this is uh, this will just cut as an arc it won't cut as a shape I can put a fill on that and it'll turn it back into a, a half circle so obviously I can continue if I just want an arc that is a 90 degree arc or one quarter of a circle And back to that point, if I put a fill on it, it's going to connect the end. So for this, we're just going to stay with the basic shapes and how they respond to point editing. I'm going to save the pen tool for its own demo. Uh, that will get a little more in-depth, either drawing straight sections or angled sections, and then probably doing one where
we look into more organic shapes and using the the bezier handles on the tools to uh, actually draw something so if you uh, have comments on the video or suggestions uh, shoot me a message on the forums again I'm JDM on the forums uh, if there's something in particular you'd like to see demonstrated I'd love to hear from you and we can do these fairly quickly and get them up so thank you